that's that's interesting. That's that's a behavior I've never experienced before. They're gonna come through. No, see, stopping for stops. Hey, self-corrected. Yeah, that's an improvement. Hello, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for my first seven uh, <laughs> for self-driving 11.4.6 uh, video. Um, we are doing our Saluda route tonight, and then we're gonna go into town tomorrow to do um, some testing. Um, should preface that I do not expect basically anything to be changed on this version. Uh, it, we could have some major updates, we could have some small ones. I'm gonna assume at the only thing Elon did say that uh, braking for oncoming cars should be reduced. That's the only thing I'm gonna look for. If anything else has been improved, then we can assume that is a major bonus. Hold on. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Oh, we're gonna have to reroute that point. It's probably like, please don't pay attention to the road. So we just route the right direction in the first place. There we go. We wanna go that way. I just wish routing would stay that quick. What happens because the people are on the with that have the camera button, something is happening. That was a good interaction. Well Why is it trying to it's just like it's like being extra aggressive on this truck. It's like it knew the truck cut out in front of me, kind of. I wouldn't really call that super cutting out in front of me, but, you know, cut out in front of me and didn't speed back up. And my car kept on, like, riding up on its, um, back in, like, like what someone would do, um, uh, to tailgate you to, um, <laughs> as if you, if they actually cut me off. So that, that was interesting. That's, that's a behavior I've never experienced before. But yeah, I think we got our, uh, nav route set. What I was saying is the nav route is um it's what i'm trying to say it's quicker uh it's uh, sorry it's slower if you have the camera button something to do with we speculate maybe the firmware on one of the cards was flashed early on so it just upload continuously they had an uncapped data limit or something speculation but we'll, we'll see how that plays out kind of sucks that we have this truck in front of us um because it's restricting our speed and so I can't tell if anything's changed going around curves right now. Otherwise, I hope uh, everyone has uh, having a fantastic day. Uh, hopefully, you, by the time you're seeing this, this is uh, going to be later tonight, probably in a couple hours from now, maybe. And um, yeah, I hope, hope everyone had a great day. I just, just actually got off work, working late tonight. So we are doing our testing now. We're gonna see how it does at this turn. Let's see if they fix the stop sign. Hopefully this truck doesn't turn. Okay. They're gonna come through. No, see, stopping for stops. Hey, self-corrected. Yeah, that's an improvement. That's never done that before. At least it seemed to self-corrected. Maybe it realized finally, hey, there's no stop sign there. Like, we'll just keep on going. But it's saying stopping for stop sign, then it's like, it, it removed the message. You guys saw that. Um, yeah, that's great. I uh, hopefully it does that every time. That that's new behavior. Um, so we're gonna see if anything else has changed on this road here. I mean, it, it's we're <laughs> seven thirty at night in a small town. There's way past school. I don't really expect any traffic. This isn't really any different than what I would have on a normal morning a lot of times we would get this first thing in the morning and I would come first thing in the morning and, and do this so yeah it's just kind of it's doing it's doing well so far I mean historically we've done this throughout zero disengagements twice I think ever uh, over two different versions and so it's very possible we can get it again it just depends it's mostly now is to turn back at this bridge coming up back right here um, is where it has to make it this turn is always a little bit tricky because to the right is, is a blind you can't see a car coming and so it just has to kind of go for it and it always 
does well um, in its last few versions. This actually seems to be improved, if I remember correctly, from the last version, that it's not flying through this road as quickly. It, it seems to be accounting for speed better. And we got a stop sign here. Stopping good. Is it going to turn? Yeah, it's very confident now. It used to be, if you look at older versions on this route, again, if you look at a play, the playlist would be down below. Um, the like button. <laughs> Um, and you'll see a playlist of the old versions if you want to see how it handled this particular street It always struggled on the street on early versions. Now it does just fine. Let's go ahead and um, Go ahead and reroute. It's gonna stop us here. We got it back across the highway and trip add that Yeah, see if routing would be this quick. I would be so happy That's one in like that and a button to disable heat in the car it's like those are the only two software things I want back, <laughs> and I'm like, I, they, I could, they could give me no more software updates. And I would be happy. Oh no, no, wait, no, we're not doing that. Disengage because nav data should be taking a left here. It's quicker to take a left than taking a right. We're not counting that as a disengagement because I have to manually route this every freaking time for some reason. Um, it's, it's frustrating. And I have to do this. Well, let's see how it's gonna work here. Seriously? Really? Really? That's freaking ridiculous, come on. Let's see where you, we want to be right here. No way, it's gonna, okay, okay. We're gonna go right here. Okay, see, this is what I it, like annoys me. You guys are seeing this. Look at this. It, the point is on that road. This has to be fixed for Robotech. You're going to be like, okay, go here. No, we're just going to go two streets down, like, where we feel like going. I'm like, you, you can't do that. You, it, you have to go where the point says. If the point says this road, go to this road. Uh, honestly, uh, guys, we're going to try something. I don't want to do that. Let's, let's see if we can get... Okay, well, we're gonna have to uh, just mainly turn. Now look, now it did it. Now now we can do it. Maybe it thought we were already t turning right, right there. And so maybe that's why. Um, yeah, that's just weird. You let me know down in the comments below what you think about that. I think it's dumb. I Obviously, it would have made that turn no issues. There's not been a single car this entire time. So it, it, it would not have messed up. Uh, it's just, I want I want it to go the way we consistently so we go past this bridge. This has always been a pain point for the car at this bridge. Is that a gopher? Something big <laughs> going through in that hole. Um, okay, so it needs to creep right here. If it's gonna launch, nope. Okay, so that's the natural disengagement. I disengage because the car is not checking for traffic coming from the right. It, it is a blind, blinded by that tree and the bridge, and it needs to check for traffic. Okay, so that is a disengagement. This is now a downgrade in this version for this route because of that. Doesn't mean there aren't other improvements. It's just, it shouldn't do that, right? Um, it shouldn't just launch out in the traffic. That, that just can't happen. Um, but yeah, if we continue going on this road, we're basically going to get no disengagements for the whole rest of the way. Uh, basically almost guaranteed. And we only have one other spot where I think we might get disengaged. This is unprotected left right here. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to have an issue. Uh, it, it seems like, it, honestly, it's probably hit or miss. That turn, you probably, I, I bet you if I did another loop around that, it might, it might wait this time. And something I noticed we might do this coming weekend again is my alternate Carl Sandberg route. Is that on the previous version, I did that, that was the third or fourth time I had done that route. And it actually did it correctly. Like, uh, there, there was one spot where I disengaged where the police car was at in my last video. Where uh, every previous version did that incorrectly. You can even tell in the last video where it also did it incorrectly. And then 
the the same version did not mess up. The only difference is that the roads are wet, starting to dry off from a recent rainstorm. And that's the only difference I could see um, or perceive between the previous runs of why that would be different. So it, it seems, I have noticed that if the road is wet, it seems to be able to like read the road better. It has like better contrast or something. But that's only when the roads are wet. It's like, and you would think it would be worse when it's wet, but it's actually better in my experience. Yeah, let's see how it does going down the curves now. We're gonna see how how these hold, uh, how these take. I probably won't do the crazy hill test. Uh, let me know down below if you want to see the crazy hill test. I'll probably do that this weekend. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna go down for a haircut tomorrow, so I'll get a couple videos from that, and then probably take a break for a day, and then go out this weekend, get a bunch of shots, shots in, and get those out for you guys. That'll be that'll be a fun time. I've been kind of been kind of like itching for a new update. So this is at least it'll give something to kind of test and compare and, you know, see if there's any improvements. I've noticed a few changes. I don't know if those are just coincidence or not. Regardless, um, they were positive changes. A couple, you know, a couple not so good changes, but um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to focus on the positive changes now. I'm not just the negative. The negative is there. I will pinpoint those in my, um, uh, in the chapters down below but uh, I'm not going to just focus on that I want to see what's been improved what has not been done before and what is currently happening on this version but yeah so that felt really natural the last part of the drive I'm going to cancel that so it doesn't just decide to stop right here and it's still trying to stop still trying to stop okay nav, nav has been deleted you don't have to do that stuff like that they're, they're, it's not a priority for them to fix that stuff. So I really don't think they're going to fix that anytime soon. Maybe in the next year we will. And maybe not even on my car. Mine has the uh, Atom processor from Intel. Uh, the new Ryzen processors are much quicker. So yeah, we'll see. If you guys have questions for me, put them down below. Um, I will see you in the next video, hopefully tomorrow. And um, I appreciate you watching. Bye, everyone.